thing you're going to do is open up your Live Designer Prep software. And what you'll do first is you go to File New. And then you'll find a product. It needs to be a picture, a JPEG, a PNG, something that this, this, will, this software takes. So usually if you take a picture, it's going to be like a PNG or JPEG or a PDF. What, all, any of those are fine. It just can't be a vector design. So you'll click on the actual image. Click out, select a view name. So select front. And then select a mask name. The mask name, the only thing that you have to be careful of is if you do a different view, you need to create the same name for the mask as it is for the front, as it is for any other view, for like a back view or a side view. So they just have to be the same mask name. So go ahead and click OK. And at this point, I'm going to click on my ruler tool. And I'm going to right click hold from the bottom of the product and drag it to the top of the other product and hit OK and let go. And then I'll type in anywhere from 20 to 25 inches. I'm going to type in about 23 inches and hit enter. This button right here will fit the window to zoom, so it's the, you'll see the entire image. Now, at this point, what you'll want to do is you'll want to click this button, the Vector Fill button, to fill the design, so that way we can get an outline of it. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to make sure I've got a perfect box. So I'm going to left-click, and then it's going to drag all the way over here to the right, and then left-click, drag to the right, left click drag to the left left click drag to the top and now I've got my box once I've got my box filled you're gonna hit enter and then you'll come over here to the right and click vector fill and then you'll double click on the image and then fill out the information for the product so under info the supplier is going to be where you bought the shirt from. Do you remember where you bought the shirt from? Oh, Carolina Mike. All right, so click in here. Carolina Made. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mill. So the product that it is, is it like a Gildan Anvil Gildan. shirt? Mm -hmm. um, do you know the SKU number? Um, Doesn't matter. 8,000. 8,000? Yeah. And then under product name, I'm going to give it a description. So the 8,000 is a 50-50, right? It is. So, actually, for this particular product, what we're going to call it is we're going to call it 50-50 t-shirt. And then we're going to put what the shirt's for. What school is this for? The Trojans? Trojans. Trojans football. For the code, you're going to put <clears throat> this really only reference to you, so just put like G8000. You know what we're going to do? Because your codes have to be different than all other products. So if you enter in a code G2000, but you have another G2000 shirt, when you try to load the second shirt, it will not allow you to do it. So you have to get creative with your codes. So we'll call it um, G8F for football and then T for Trojans. So we know it's a Gildan 8000 football Trojan shirt. Then on the description, we're going to put in a description for what we want our clients to see when they get this garment into the website. So for your description, you'll do like uh, 2015 um, Trojan football football short. It's a short sleeve shirt. It is short sleeve. 50, 50, T. Now what you'll do is once you get the description in, you'll go under colors. When you hit add color, it'll bring up this box, and you're just going to type in the color of the shirt. So I'm going to call it gray, gray, and you're just going to hit finish. You're not going to add any colors. You'll just hit finish, and then you'll put the sizes that are offered. So the next one you do is hit size, edit sizes. And what sizes are you going to be offering, starting from the smallest to largest? Um, adult small to adult triple A. Okay, so we'll do small, small. Just put one pound for the weight. How much are you going to charge for this shirt? $15. 15 mm -hmm. And then hit add size. And you'll do the same thing for medium. Medium, medium, add size. 
large, large, at okay, size. So when I get the double X, I can add that two fifty very easily to it. Uh huh. Okay. So for the, you said the double X, you add three dollars and fifty cents. Double X, I add two dollars and fifty cents for both. Two dollars and fifty cents. It'll be seventeen fifty rather. Well, on the double X, not on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then X X X L. Oops. X X X L. And price. Once you're done here, you'll click done and then go to your color combos and hit add all. You'll then file, save as, save it to a new folder on your desktop. That's what I typically do. So I'm going to go to file new, folder, um, key, products. Oops, I already got it. I've already done this for you, so hold on a second. Where's your products? Key products, and I'm going to call this um, Trojan Football so I know what it's saved under and hit save. At this point, what you'll want to do is you'll log into the back end of your website, which I'm already logged in under, and I'm going to go to product management and then ready to print products. At this point, I'll need to add a category. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, so I could do football, baseball, archery. Is it only for one school? It's just for one school. What's the what's the school town? So what, what's the full name of the school? Uh, Johnson County Trojan. Oops. Oops. Johns. Come on, Mike. Just do J C Trojans if you want to. J C Trojans. Mm -hmm. And then you will then from here have to pick a um, file right here. So you let choose file. What I'm actually going to do Johnson County uh, and you, we can change this later um, but I'm just going to find like their logo or something okay. there you go this one looks fine I'm just going to hit save image as and then I'm just going to hit save on my desktop because I'll be deleting it later then I'll find that image. Let's see, download three and hit save. I think I did it. There we go. So now it's got the saved image. Then the next thing I'm going to do is click add over here under your subcategories. And I'm going to click or type in like football. Then I'm going to choose another picture. So we'll do John Scott Chosen football. So we'll do like, I don't know, we can, this is, this is cool. And again, we'll change these later if you want to. So I'll choose this one, hit save. Choose file. And then let's see, downloads. Where is it? Downloads, 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 downloads. There we go. Save. Now, going back here under football, I'm going to hit add product, choose file, and then I'm going to go to your folder. Where is it? Keys product and click on the LDB, LDP Trojan Football. At this point, you just need to wait for it to load. Over in the top left-hand corner, you'll see it loading there. So I'm going to call this, this part Trojan Football. T. And then I've got Ready to Print or Fundraiser. Ready to Print shirts will be shirts that you want them just to buy. If you click Fundraiser, this will let them this will put a place for you to put a minimum order, a percentage towards charity, when you want it to start, when when you want it to end, and then how many that they've actually printed or actually been purchased. So they can see not only how many have been purchased tour and how many need to be purchased, but they'll see the percentage and a dollar amount going to that particular fundraiser. Mm-hmm. Love it, love it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. 
Uh, you've got to select printing here, even though they won't be able to print. It's just something you have to do. And now you've got your product there. So let's go ahead and go to keys tees. Keys tees dot action designer online dot com. And we'll have to get new artwork for this website like you did the last time. But under the uh, design tool, now over here to the left, let's see if I did that right. I did. I took off all the editing capabilities. Um, what I didn't do. Okay, I forgot. Okay, I got to remove this first. We don't want these products up there. Now we've got the product loaded. Okay. So when we add multiple products, when they click on the fundraiser button, they'll be able to go through all these different categories. So you have football, baseball, basketball, cheerleading, whatever it might be. And then you'll have your artwork all loaded here. Since there's only one product loaded, it's only going to show you one.